antivirus and endpoint security. They are both important terms that cover essential security topics. They overlap, but they are not quite the same. Knowing the differences between the two might come in handy when you're in the position of making important business decisions. Actually, learning and understanding the distinction between endpoint security and antivirus could significantly improve the cybersecurity of your company. Hello again, it's Antonia from Heimdall and today I invite you to take a closer look into the features and differences between endpoint security and antivirus and learn how to make the right choice when the time comes. I'm confident that you already know what an antivirus is and do and how endpoint security works, but I want to make sure that you are aware of the differences between the two. And these differences are ongoing protection. As you might know, antivirus virus software detects and defends organizations from possible threats through a signature-based detection approach. What does this mean for a user who has not updated their antivirus solution? Easy. It's a strong possibility that they are still vulnerable to cyber attacks. On the other hand, endpoint security products connect to the cloud and update automatically, ensuring users have the most recent version available at all times. Device coverage. Conventional antivirus Virus applications, such as those installed on laptops to keep them protected, are developed to secure only one device. In contrast, endpoint security solutions aim to safeguard every connected device across an entire corporate network. Defense against threats. Antivirus software protects companies against malware that is listed in their database of known threats, so threats that have already been identified and dealt with by the company. However, more sophisticated attacks usually lack a traditional signature, which could leave organizations exposed. Endpoint security software takes a more comprehensive approach that protects against known threats, but also threats like phishing campaigns, fileless and signatureless malware, or data loss. Internal security. Traditional antivirus software can stop malware, but it's not able to stop employees from stealing corporate data by simply saving it on a USB flash drive, for instance. Through the use of uh, technologies such as data encryption and data access controls, endpoint security software provides a higher level of protection against threats like data loss and data leakage. This way, unauthorized employees are unable to get to corporate information beyond their access privileges and still sell or misuse it. Risk control. Usually Usually, traditional antivirus programs only alert the user of issues when they are found. A cybersecurity expert will then be needed to analyze and investigate the threat in person. In contrast, endpoint security products offer a unified interface that allows admins to keep an eye on activity, install, customize, patch and update software, look into any suspicious traffic, and fix problems remotely. What's more, admins can perform this actions at the same time to multiple endpoints. Integration. An antivirus software functions as a single program that executes a specific task. On the other hand, an endpoint security approach provides the significant advantage of integration, where multiple solutions are included in a suite that can be conveniently integrated for complete protection against advanced cyber threats. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time when I'll have ready for you another endpoint security security topic that I'm sure will help you a lot with your future business decisions. But that's all I'm saying for now. Make sure you come back next week and see what I'm talking about. Until then, don't forget to like this video, share it, and hit the subscribe button to get notified about all the cyber goodies we have coming. Also, for even more cybersecurity content, check out our LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter accounts. See you next week!